Koreans take their coffee very seriously. They stop by at a cafe on their way to work, after a meal, or even during leisure time to grab a nice Americano or other beverages that will keep them awake for the day. But recently in Korea, cafes have become a tourist site where people visit for sightseeing. morning. It's currently 9.30 a.m. here in Seoul. I'm at the Starbucks at the Bukhansan branch to have my morning coffee and breakfast. And this is probably the most popular Starbucks store in Seoul or even in South Korea right now. Let's get in. So inside the Starbucks is crowded with visitors. Now you might wonder why the Starbucks branch is attracting so many visitors even in the early hours. Well, here's why. The stunning mountain view. This branch is the only Starbucks in Seoul where you can enjoy a cup of coffee and a beautiful panoramic view of Mount Bukhan. The store has more than 300 seats on the first and second floors and rooftop, but they all fill up by 10 a.m. on a weekday, and it gets even worse on the weekends. So these seats directly facing the mountain are like the first-class zone on a plane. Uh, the competition to get these seats is fierce, Mm, so I'm just going to stand here and see if anyone leaves. Why don't we go see the rooftop instead? Let's go upstairs. This view is breathtaking. So this is Bukhansan, the mountain located north of Han River. It's a popular hiking spot in Seoul and also the highest mountain within Seoul city boundaries. And this mountain is also known as the lungs of Seoul as it helps clear out the city's carbon dioxide. And over there is a photo zone where everyone takes photos. The Starbucks plaque. So this Starbucks branch has the beverages inspired by the local ingredient, and the two special beverages they have is are the green mugwort uh, blended beverage and the green mugwort cream latte, and also some baked goods over here. And these are exclusive to only a few of the Starbucks branches, so they're not common. Looks yum! In Seoul, you can find a Starbucks on nearly every block. But this beautiful branch located away from the bustling city center and the magnificent view of the Bukhansan mountain really helped me refresh my mind. Okay, now to the next destination. All right, now I'm back in downtown Seoul. The next cafe I'm going to is located right in the heart of Seoul, the Jongno district. What is Jongno known for? Any guesses from this neighborhood? Yes, royal palaces from the Joseon dynasty. This time, it's the palace view. Let's go check it out. So the cafe is located on the third floor. Here is the sign. All right, almost there. Are you ready for this view? Oh my. Ta-da! So this cafe is not particularly spacious compared to the Starbucks I went to, uh, but it's definitely more cozy and welcoming. And plus, since there are not many tables in here, almost every seat has the palace view. All right, let's go order now. 
So this cafe has the view of Cheonggyeokgung Palace as one of the five grand palaces built by the kings of Joseon Dynasty and is the second palace built after Gyeongbokgung. Now looking at this view, I feel very calm and relaxed. It's so peaceful. This cafe is famous for hand-dripped coffees and teas. The pretty tea sets and coffee sets are displayed here. On the other side of the cafe, there were some old cinema cameras. These belong to the owner of this cafe, who was a filming director before he retired. Some interesting items here and there. Now, if you come to this cafe during autumn, you'll be able to see incredible fall foliage views. And if you come during winter, you'll see the snow-covered palace. So this cafe is for all seasons. Last but not least, I'm here on my final destination, the Riverview Cafe. Woo! There are no beaches in Seoul, but there is Han River flowing through the capital city. And this cafe is called the Hangang, literally translated as the Han River. Let's get in. It's a two-story cafe. All right, the sun is right above a tall apartment building, and I'm looking at Yoido. It's the financial district in Seoul. I see the 63 square, I see the Han River Bridge, and the railroad as well. There's quite a traffic on the roads. People are rushing to their home after work. It's a beautiful city view with the sunset. All right, the sun is gone. Now let's go get our last coffee of the day. So the first floor is where you can order and the drinks and the desserts here are relatively cheaper than the ones at the cafes uh, we visited earlier. And here you can also buy the locks and put it on a fence outside uh, with a little message or note to yourself. Oh, here it says BTS. Love you. It's just like the ones uh, at the Namsan Tower. All right, waiting for my drinks now. Ta da! Finally, the romantic night view of the Han River. The lights from the roads, bridge, and buildings bring colors to the city at night. If you want to see the sunset and the stunning night view, make sure you come before 7 p.m. All right, we had quite a long day today from a mountain view cafe to a palace view and the Han River view cafe, all of which helped me empty my heart and brain and just relax. I even got emotional at one point with the music playing in the back. <laughs> but anyway, uh, which view did you enjoy the most? Let me know in the comment down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.